In a lot of ways, I would say I'm a minimalist. Or at least, you know, I aim to be. Minimalism is my goal. Maybe it doesn't always work out that well, but then there's one thing, there's one thing that really, really ruins it for me. There's one thing that is an obsession that I just can't control. Let's, let's have a t little tour. So at the moment, minimalism is, well, I'm failing. But that's only because I'm organizing stuff. So at the moment, at the moment the room is, is a bit of a mess. But there's one thing that even in my, you know, getting rid of stuff that just, it just keeps expanding, it keeps growing. I can't stop, I can't stop buying bags. Look at this, right. So this is the first proper camera bag that I bought when I was doing wedding photography. Still got that, I still really like it. Then I've got one that comes with the aperture light. Kind of a no-brainer, I guess. Obviously keeping that one. Uh, then I've got this that came with the Deity microphone. But I cut all the lining out of it and it's just got little bits of audio stuff in now. I like this little neoprene bag, but it stays. Then I've got this bag, which has audio equipment in and a slate. Then there's this little Peli case type thing, which has got Mountain Moss recorder in it. This came with the Aperture Fresnel light, which I've not really used that much yet. This, this is the Fresnel lens. Then there's another bag, which is my location flash stuff. Then I've got this bag, which I bought because I wanted something that was lightweight and small, and it's not particularly small, and it kind of annoys me. Then there's my main bag, which I've done. I did like an unboxing-y type thing on that, but that's it. Then I've got a bag for my tripod, doesn't seem that bad, does it? Wait, what have I got here? Oh, in here, then I've got little bags. Batteries, batteries, light, audio equipment. More bags. Move over here, you think you're safe? This box is full of bags. Here's another bag. I really like these clear plastic bags because I can see what's in it. Then there's more bags. somewhat of a theme going on here. And I say, oh, that's not bad, you're just organizing stuff. But they're just my camera bags. Then I've got these, bag that holds water, bag for my phone when I'm running, other bags, they're not actually mine. Ah, then the new obsession, bags for my bike, other bag for my bike, my main rucksack. And I still keep on going. But the reason I wanted to mention this, we get away, you get away, is because my friend has just started making these bags and these actually, these actually kind of conform a little bit to minimalism because they're made out of recycled material and I really, really like them. He gave me this one a while back and I use it all the time. Nice, simple little tote bag. I really like it. It's just the right size for, you know, a little bit of shopping or a camera. But then he sent me this one and I feel like men, we're not allowed to have bags, which whatever, it's fair enough. No, it's not. We've got, po we get pockets. Women get bags. <laughs> Don't get me started on women's clothes when I found out they didn't have pockets. What? Madness. So he sent me this bag to have a look at and it fits this camera perfectly. Story time. Wait, let's put you off this. So this actually goes back to when I was a kid, and I know loads of kids probably do this, but there was like random shit that just had to be with me. It would fill my pockets, and I'd just have these things. And for some reason, that's like come with me into adulthood. But you can't just stuff your pockets with like random bits of camera gear and things like that. You need a way to carry it. And I like to be organized. So years ago, I realized that I was messy. I was so messy. Oh, I just hated it. The problem with being a messy person is that, well, you just, that's just the way it is. 
and I don't think there's a way to like change your mindset. But if you create a place for everything, if you can have a little home for every single different thing, and you can get rid of a lot of things and just have the essentials, you can actually be a really tidy person. And don't judge me because I am just organizing stuff. We I tend to be a lot tidier these days because I've got less stuff and each thing's got its little home. That's why I've got all these bags on here. I like that I can kind of grab them and go. So I couldn't sleep last night and so I got the idea to make one of these, which is what I was filming everything that you've just seen, I was filming it on this. And basically, it's just a bit of wood with a little way to mount my camera onto it and it just straps around you. And you'll have seen the effect in like films and it's called a snorry cam. Strap a camera to someone and, and have them move around and it'd be like a POV, but like a reverse POV. I bought some pedals for my bike and I've only got adjustable spanners and they don't fit, so I'm gonna have to m make something to use to get my pedals off. Well, this go. I was worried about this not cutting, but it cuts like butter. So the pedals are in the basement in the car. So I just go for it. Let's just wing it and see if it works. Homemade spanner, attempt number one. To the bike. Back shortly. Another bag. So I'm gonna categorize the spanner, homemade spanner situation as a failure. I should have realized when it was so easy to cut that it was just gonna like mold around the nut. So it didn't work at all. Those pedals are on there so tight. I need to get an actual spanner. Box. And that leads me back, thankfully, to the bag that James sent me. So I'm gonna leave a link to his bags down below. He sent me this like book size one because we, we, me and him talk about books quite a lot. There's something so perfect about having a bag that suits like having each bag that suits each scenario that is just the size for a book. So that if the, all you wanna take is a notebook and a pencil, you don't have a million military st style pockets and bungee cords and tactical looking stuff and a, a hundred different ways to get into that bag. And as much as this bag's kind of fine, this is the Manfrotto one, didn't bother ever doing a review on it because you get shit. It's just bleh. Whereas James's bags offer something different. They offer a little piece of, I don't know, something that's handmade. Something that, as men, we don't get to, we don't get to have. We especially don't get to have it at an affordable price. We do get it sometimes. You look at bags from Billingham, say, they make really small, lovely camera bags. They also make bigger ones, but they make really small ones. But you're paying hundreds of pounds. And also, I don't like the look of them at all. What I want is something that suits me. And I don't want it to be ridiculously priced. I want a bit of craftsmanship in my life, but I want to be able to afford it. And that's what I really like about book bags. I think that's enough from me today. I just wanted to talk about my bag obsession while everything's splayed out everywhere.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Whoop.